Hello, Victor family. Welcome to the Wednesday Word. A brief encouragement from the scriptures. It's a great time. We just got done celebrating Christmas with friends and family, and we are looking forward to this new year, 2022. Now, if you're like me, you like to think of what are challenges, goals, resolutions that you want to have for this new year. Some of mine include reading a few more books than I did this past year. Maybe it's spending more time with friends and family. Maybe it's spending more time with God. Maybe it's losing weight, exercising more. Whatever it might be, we like to set goals for ourselves. We like to set ideas and challenges and and set markers for ourselves for how we want this upcoming year to take place. And that's a good thing. But I think it's important to realize that no matter how many goals we set for ourselves, it's important to remember that God is in control. That while man makes his plans, God is the one who ultimately sets the terms. He's the one in charge. And so it's important that we keep that in mind. And I think our verse for today speaks to that very well. In Luke chapter 12, verse 40, it says, You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Jesus is speaking with his disciples here in this passage, and he's slowly letting them in on the fact that he is going to die, that he is going to the cross. But for them not to be afraid, because he will come again, that this is not the end of his story, that Christ will return. And as people who now live in the post-resurrection and post-ascension time of Jesus, we are in the same same boat of waiting for Christ's return, Christ's second coming, when he will come on the clouds, where he will bring with him new heaven and new earth, where all things are made new and made right. It's a glorious time that we have to look forward to. But we're told here that not only are we to hold that these things are true, that Christ will return, we're told to be ready. We're told to be ready for his return. And I think the reason for that is expanded if we look at the this whole passage of why we must be ready. Jesus uses the parable of a master of a house who leaves on a journey. And he tells his disciples in the parable, it is well with those servants to always be ready, even if they do not know when the master is coming. Because it is hard, it is bad for the master to come in the late hours of the night and to find his servants asleep, not there to greet him, not there to welcome him, not not there to help him. Instead, the servants, even though they do not know when the master comes, they are to always be ready, ready to, to embrace and to welcome in the master's return. In the same way, we... We, might, we don't know. We don't know when Christ will return. We don't know when it might be. And people who tell you that they know, unfortunately, they don't. Because we're told in Scripture that only the Father knows when Christ will return. But regardless, we are to be ready. We are to live our lives in such a way to welcome God back. Welcome Jesus back to earth that he left so many thousands of years ago. And what does that look like? What does it look like to be ready? Well, I think that means that we give our lives for God. We give our lives in His service. We do what we can to further His kingdom, to further His name. We help the poor. We help the needy. We help the sick. We spread the gospel. We disciple people. We do the things that Jesus instructed us to do. This is how we give our lives in such a way that we are readying ourselves for when the master comes. So we can say, look, master, we have done the work that you instructed us to do. We are not bad servants who just ate, drank, and was merry because the master was gone. We don't want to have Jesus come back and find us sleeping on the job. We don't want him to come back and find us wasting the opportunity and the time that he entrusted with us. So, my friends, as we move into this new year, I want to challenge you that as we make resolutions and goals for this upcoming year, I pray that we would make it our goal, the goal, to live our lives this year for Christ. Because he is coming back. 
So let's always be ready for when Christ returns so that when he comes, we can be told, well done, good and faithful servant. I know that that is going to be sweet music to our ears if we hear it. But that'll only happen if we have been faithful stewards and worthy of the trust that has been given to us. And so let's serve our master well. Let's serve him and let's give our lives for what he wants us to do. So that's my prayer and that's my challenge. Will you pray with me as we move forward to this new year? Gracious Father, Lord, I pray that we would be ready because we are thankful and we are anticipating the Son of Man's return. Thank you for Jesus and and for what he has accomplished on the cross and that with him will come final victory. We praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Be blessed with your family. Bye.